Hello UW Law, my name is Dante Tyler and I am running for SBA. I am running for your Washington State Bar Association rep. Um, and many of you might not know what the Washington State Bar Association rep does. Um, one of the main things that we are supposed to do is we are supposed to be the liaison between um, the Washington State Bar Association and the students at UW. Um, this is really important because the future of the legal community really starts with us. Um, it starts farther back than that, but one of the gateways is law school and making sure that the Washington uh, State Bar Association knows the struggles that we're dealing with and what the future of the Washington legal community is supposed to look like really does come down to us. And um, as somebody that has had many, many years involved in student government, I know how to be a representative. Uh, one of my philosophies is to not be a star, but be a star maker. And what that is supposed to mean is that I could come up with ideas all day and I could think that um, I know what I'm talking about, <clears throat> but I know what's really important is to hear from you, the students, and hearing what matters really matter to you. Um, things such as um, having more diverse faculty at UW Law, things like pushing for more diversity just in the legal community, um, among many other things. Um, those are things that the Washington State Bar Association knows about, but really needs to know that students are extremely passionate to fight for those issues. And I would love to be that representative to sit there and talk as a person of color to say, we need more people that look like me, people who look different than me, uh, we need different mo modes of thought and ideas out in our community. Um, and I believe that I can really do that representation. Um, another reason that I really uh, believe I'm qualified for this job is because uh, one of the main tools of this is to really reach out to um, the other student orgs um, at UW Law and talking to them, engaging with them and hearing what their needs are. Um, and letting them, and also relaying what uh, Washington Star, uh, the WSB is saying. And I believe that I'm qualified for this as somebody who has really learned how to engage with student leaders and student organizations throughout my many years of experience. I know how to reach, um, reach you all and talk to you and hear what you want. Um, and then also, more importantly, follow up and tell you what is actually being done about it or what isn't being done about it and the next steps on dealing with that. Letting you know what the chain of command is and letting you know where we're being roadblocked and where we're succeeding. Um, these are really important to me because I want to see results. And I know many of you want the exact same thing. I think it's really easy in government, especially student government, to just say, we're gonna get it done, we're gonna get it done, but I really want to get these things done. I want there to be a tangible means of seeing this happen. And I know this year's SBA has worked their butts off to have those accomplishments and have had a lot of that um, you know, stifled by this uh, epidemic. Um, but I want to continue their great work to really promote uh, engagement among our amazing community. Uh, you know, and what makes me think I'm qualified to talk to these, uh, these great lawyers, uh, judges and uh, representatives, um, and not so great also, um, is, you know, I've done many years of, of working with, uh, different organizations on talking to legislators and representatives in Washington state about student needs in particular, um, going and telling them what student needs are and fighting for those things like, um, you know, lower tuition, um, uh, and also fighting for things like, uh, uh, women's rights, um, menstrual products in the schools, things like that, where it seems, you know, from the big to what seems to be so small, but those small things really do make a significant difference in especially our everyday life. Um, I really do want to be involved in doing that. Uh, and another really important thing I think that this position holds that I, th I really want to be uh, influencing is uh, we really can talk to um, the um, WSBA about uh, the continued legal education or CLE for short, 
um, which is a pro is a program that all lawyers do is they have to continue their legal education. They have to continue to be a part of um, the legal community and um, to continue to learn. And I really want to be a voice to say, what is working? What type of CLEs are actually engaging students and uh, getting them involved? And what are just ticking the box away? Because um, ticking the box, it doesn't help anybody. And it really doesn't really get us that engagement that we crave as students. We are spending so much money and time here to learn and grow as people. Let's have the lawyers do the exact same thing. Um, and uh, lastly, I just really wanted to reemphasize the point of, I think we really need to push the WSBA to really engage in diversity. I, I do believe they are trying especially in the law schools to try to get more diversity and uh, involvement. But I don't think that's good enough. I really think we need to go back to the colleges, to the, uh, to the high schools, even middle schools, and really letting them know how important a legal education is, how it is doable, how, uh, how to you know, pay for it, how to deal with it, how to get them involved and making people understand what it means to be a lawyer. Um, it, it, and it's not what we always see it is, as. Um, I do think that I can be that voice. I do believe that I will fight for this class. It is something that I'm passionate about. It's something that I really want to be involved in. I really do love all of you. Um, that I will say, no matter win or lose, I will be somebody who is an advocate for you all and will fight for you all. I hope that I've shown that this year, and if I haven't, um, I'm sorry, but I've really tried to, you know, be a part of this community and be uh, make a difference. Um, and the very last thing I want to say is my heart goes out to all of you. Um, with everything that's going on, it can be very difficult, and um, I I know there's from health crises to mental health to anything uh, anything else, families, emergencies know that I've heard from so many of our classmates how they are there for you. Um, they're going through similar things, but we're, we stick together as a community. We'll be together for the rest of our lives, honestly. And um, know that this is one of many things that we will have to face in our lives, but we will come out on the other side stronger, better for it. Um, I truly do love you guys. I really hope that you are doing well out there and please if you have any questions for me comments um criticisms um please reach out to me uh and i love you guys and i'll talk to you later